Today, we're hopping into a full game of NHL 24 on the Superstar difficulty. I had the chance to play NHL 24 early and give you guys a sneak peek as to what a full game looks like and how the game feels. I'm going to talk you guys through some of the new features as we see them and, of course, give you my honest thoughts on them as well. Obviously, most of the gameplay that you've seen so far has been on the rookie and pro difficulty setting, so we're hopping up to Superstar to make this a challenge. Hopefully, we won't get destroyed. You guys got to let me know your honest thoughts on what you see here in NHL 24 in the comment section down below first thing we have to mention is the new menus yes we finally have dark mode back no more white bright screen shining into your face this is dark it's simple it's clean as for teams, I'm going with the Edmonton Oilers. I just want to use some of their superstars and see how the X Factors play. We're taking on the Vegas Golden Knights, the Stanley Cup champs. This is going to be a grind. Wish me luck. Let's get into it. Our first full game here of NHL 24. The glow sticks going crazy. We got a lot of pressure here. We got to get a dub here. First full game on the channel. And uh, obviously, we're going to be using Connor McDavid and trying to go crazy with some of these new features. We got the, the crazy flashing lights right off the rip on the draw. Maybe a little excessive, but you know what? A, a good little touch. Here we go. So if you guys aren't familiar, NHL 24, the biggest change to gameplay, I would say, is this new... Oh my, what a booming hip check that was. Is going to be this new exhaust engine and the pressure system. So as you can see there at center ice, there is that pressure bar. As we stay in the offensive zone and get shots on net, that pressure bar is going to fill. Once it's all the way full, that is when we can really start to utilize... Hold on a second. Kind of... Oh! Dude, if I would have scored that, imagine. So once that pressure bar is all the way full, that's when we're going to start to see uh, some of the tiredness come in on the defense and on the goalie as well. Like some of the flop animations of the goaltenders are insane. Maybe even way too excessive, but they are insane. So let's see if we can get this pressure bar full. Now they are making some changes to the pressure bar. As you can see right now, it fills up a lot, even when you're not doing anything. In the oh my, I'm throwing. Let's see if we can catch him. Nuge. Okay, good. We at least block that off. I'm going to actually cover this puck up. Be smart. They are making some changes to the pressure bar, so it's not going to fill as quickly just standing around. You're actually going to have to do stuff, get shots, make passes and whatnot in the offensive zone uh, if you really want that thing to fill up. All right, just try to burn to the outside here. Let's get set up. Actually get this bar. Oh, hold on. Bang. See, goalie's starting to flop already. We just had to get that rebound. The hip check is so good. So I am playing on the new total controls, which means we do have our dedicated hip check button. And uh, we do have our dedicated Michigan button as well. For good or for bad, uh, we can hit the Michigan with the click of the Y button. So I'm going to try to obviously score some of those today. I don't know if we're going to be able to. It's not super easy, but uh, definitely... <laughs> Dude, if I scored it my first try, could you imagine? We sent that one off the crossbar there with Nuge. That's uh, honestly my biggest complaint from from the, the community playtest is is that Michigan. Like it's just it's just so easy, especially on these controls. No reason for the most difficult move in the NHL to be as simple as it is. One button and you're doing the Michigan to perfection like we did just there. Okay, I'm liking I'm liking the way we're playing right now though. We're getting lots of chances. Again, I'm just gonna keep shooting the puck. Like I really do think that's gonna be the way to score and to win games. Just get as much pressure as possible, shoot the puck as much as possible, and uh, get that goalie flopping all over the place. Nice poke. What a poke that was. Get a quick little rush. That bar is still a little bit full. Use that new passing as well. Boom. Oh! No! 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 Again! No! No way. There we go. We finally bury one, dude. What were those saves? I mentioned the goalie flopping around. I did not mention the fact that you could get absolutely robbed on them. My goodness, three or four desperation saves with Hill flopping around the net. Finally, we get him on the wrap. The defense is lost, but it took some work, dude. Look at those saves. <laughs> Bang, we find that far side. So something to note, this is not the final version of the game. They are adjusting that. Uh, they, they took in the feedback from the play test. There's definitely going to be less goalie flopping, less sustained pressure, less goalie flopping in the process, which is good to see because I think these are all good features. They're just a little bit overboard, right? Like, you shouldn't have a, an NHL caliber goalie flying all over the net on routine rebound plays. And there we saw like three of them. So we're heading to the power play. Let's go. Dude, look at the crazy, the craziness of the lights, man. Is it actually like that in Edmonton? There's no way, right? 
don't think I've ever seen that on TV, but I guess I haven't paid that much attention. All right, so we still have our power play. I'm going to try to get the, uh, we'll try to get the full offensive pressure. Also, this passing thing is so nice on the breakouts. So nice. Passing, probably the most underrated feature of NHL 24, if I were to say. We'll try to rip this low. Yep, nice low shot, and there's our rebound cheese. So that's how a lot of the goals are going in, for good or for bad. I, I think it's at least different. Like, you're not waiting for the cross creases like you used to. But at the same time, like, not every goal should be some crazy rebound like that. Obviously, you know, we had some pressure. Maybe the goal is a little tired as the period's, you know, coming to an end. But Hill should not be flopping around the way that he is. A nice goal, but kind of a weird goal. We'll take it, though. We're up two. Nice little outlet pass. Let's see if we can get some deeks going here, too. Dude, I'm I'm just drawing so many penalties right now. Holy. I don't know if there's going to be any changes to the uh, the amount of penalties, but it looks like just make a quick move, and they're, they're making dumb penalties all day long. Something else to mention is the interactive board. So I absolutely despise these in the real NHL. In the game, they actually work pretty well. So you can see as sustained pressure happens, you'll see that pop around the boards, and then here we have the penalty, which also pops up on screen. So just a nice little touch. Nothing crazy, but pretty cool to see. Ooh, nice save, Skinner. All right, we're giving this puck to McDavid, and we're going for a skate. Watch this. Little sidestep, little spin -o. We're drawing another penalty, dude. What is going on here? I, I, I played a few games. I've never seen this many penalties before. This is crazy. So another thing I forgot to mention is the, the new flip. So you really can't flip the puck completely out of the zone anymore. It's weird. I, I wish there were a way to change that, but you can do kind of these chips off the glass, which are sick. There needs to be a way to still do it the old way, like on, especially on a PK, if you want to go all the way down the ice, you should be able to do that. But at the very least, dude, how did that not go in? Okay, so we're getting a little bit of pressure here to end the period. Obviously not a goal on that power play, but that's all right. Lots of good shots. I'm going for one last Michi. Three, two. I defended it well. And we're going to go into the first intermission. A nice two-goal lead. Again, that rebound, rebound chance is going to be the difference maker. Like, if we can just get some more of those, we'll run away with this game for sure. So first impressions here in NHL 24. I actually like the pressure system. I like it as a concept. I like the way it works. Obviously, they need to tune this thing down a little bit because it feels like all the changes that they made, they just went a little bit overboard with. The goalie flopping, the hip checks. And of course, the rebounds that we see, those all need to be toned down. They're good ideas, just a little bit too much. The pressure system is definitely what most differentiates this from NHL 23. You definitely want to be going for more shots versus those high quality shots like you did in the past. It used to just be cross crease, one timer, boom, boom. That's all you went for. Now you can kind of think through different ways to score a variety of goals. I mean, we're kind of buzzing right now. This doesn't feel like superstar difficulty. We're up two, but let's see what happens in period number two. All right, period number two underway. Let's keep this rolling. I feel like we're playing well. I mean, they really just have not had any sort of offensive pressure. I'm going to say this, and they're going to score a goal. Our goalie's stuck on the ground, dude. Our goalie, what is he doing? What? What is Skinner doing? You, should, you see how long Skinner was on the ice there? My man was flopping for 30 seconds of game clock. Okay, let's get set up here again. Try to try to utilize some of this passing stuff too. Holy Kane's kind of I don't know. Kane was kind of flat footed. We got back though, thankfully. Just reset this over. I'm gonna use this. The new passing is so nice for the breakouts, dude. I'll say it's not as useful in the offensive zone. It's especially useful when you have a power play, though. Holy dude, the hip checks are crazy. Listen, I know those hip checks are not realistic, and you might see one of those like per season in the NHL. But they are fun, dude. Like, it, it feels so nice. Nice move there by Kane. Keep grinding. All right, we'll get that ozone draw. Why not? Okay, I'm going to try to just get some pressure going here again. Let's uh, let's uh, hold on to this puck for a little, and then we'll just go for some some nice rebound shots. One more possession. We have it. Nah, they're going to clear that out. I'm going to I'm gonna try messing with this dump, this dump out play. I think this really could be like a nice, like doing this, where you flip it around a guy and then go up the ice. It doesn't catch it that way. It would work. Nice little move. Fire that low. Dude, that... Uh, the uh the reverse hit man it's it's <sighs> gives and takes you know I, I like the fact that any player can reverse hit but at the same time they need to make it so it's not clicking in on the right analog stick to do that thing like the amount of times that i accidentally reverse hit is far too high it happens every single time a skinner what a save I, i'm starting to get a little rattled they're actually getting some offense going what a spin Ew. <sighs> if we make that pass a little later i think we're good i'm gonna fire this low Nice low shot, get that pressure up. So something else we should mention, 
perfect timing is the uh the new hitting system it's difficult to get used to so basically instead of just flicking on the analog stick like you would you have to wind up your hit so right here i'm gonna flick down and then up and that's what like it's like a wind up boom where you explode through these hits when you connect on it it feels super nice when you miss it though like you're lost you're lost and there's no coming back from it also poke checks like you do the same thing you go for a big poke check and miss it your guy slows down they can just burn by you all day long skinner this guy's clamps so right now we have that pinned effect so i'm just i'm getting absolutely torched in my defensive zone and they are just all over me luckily let's get this puck out of the zone we should be chilling nice move there dry saddle we're gonna go around the net i'm gonna try to ah, dude it's just tough to pull off this mishy especially on superstar but we do we do get a nice effort on it nice save though so there's that wind up there's that wind up hit where i oh! <laughs> dude these goalie animations are crazy give me a replay of that one uh, i'm gonna go get the replay myself dude that might be the save of the year Eichel kind of fired an off angle shot here it sneaks five hole look at skinner reaching back as the puck is rolling on the goal line a lot of the saves are nuts and maybe some of them not super realistic but this one dude that's clean nice save skinner keeps it out of the goal line and even he falls backwards but uh the glove stays forward what a save if we win this draw we might be able to get one quick rush up the ice 12 seconds left another loss dude, i can't win a draw to save my life either try to just pin him and kill this clock five four they do have full pressure they're not getting a shot though nice clear all right we'll take that good period of hockey i mean no goal scored either way we also had i think four or five crazy desperation saves from skinner so shots are all even we got a little bit of advantage on the time on attack a 2-0 lead let's just keep this rolling here in period number three so that period we were playing a lot more defensively obviously i got to mess around with some of the hitting stuff like i said it is a high risk high reward kind of play you go for that booming hit and you miss it then you're in big trouble you miss that poke check you're in big trouble i would say a lot of the tools in the game definitely are more advantageous to the offense defense is going to be hard this year man you make one mistake and, and, you, and you're burnt and they're scoring the other way everything on defense is definitely more difficult but it's also more satisfying like when you wind up that booming hit and you actually connect on it it feels good and that's kind of what i want from a video game like i want it to be fun i want it to be satisfying while you're playing it all of those things combined it does feel good like i said there is some tuning to be made and they definitely are doing that so hopefully this will feel even better come the full game but right now i mean this this is not bad hopping into period number three we got a 2-0 lead 2-0 lead Connor mcdavid i'm feeding you this biscuit and we are finally going to score a mishy goal i dude i just gotta score one like i feel oh. <laughs> the helmet goes flying <laughs> dude that i'm telling you man the hitting is just different you wind up that hit and connect like they're dead look at this boom the helmet goes flying too holy now i, I am kind of curious why skinner is the best goaltender in the nhl because this guy i don't know if he's having just an unreal game or if this is just how it is this man is on a mission he could have shot that far side i don't know why he went short side skater with another big save dude he's bailing me out this period try to wind up that booming hit what a poke dude what was that animation a little poke check animation to cut off that crop that's a goal <gasps> what bump dude skinner i i don't know how he's he's recovering pretty quick too i mean he's flopping around a lot but thankfully he's getting back in a position their goalie uh has not had that same effect yeah, maybe he has nice save get mcdavid wide open mid slot and can't get anything to go all right boys 12 minutes let's get let's get something going here i gotta score some more goals evander kane dude what if evander kane can score the mishy could you could you imagine if evander kane is the one i score it with dude that hip check is just nuts and skinner is even more nuts okay let's go we're gonna let's try to utilize some of this passing stuff i'm gonna do some one touch passes actually we might not even need to Dude, it's so hard to score on nice. Like, those mid-slot shots feel like the ones that should go in. And it feels like the only way we really can score is going for those rebounds. Like, that's a shot that I feel like has to go. Theodore, get rocked. Dude, I love I love the hitting. And I love Skinner even more, dude. This guy is... This guy is insane! Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, 
Okay, and they deserve that one, dude. I mean, he had three desperation saves. They finally find the back of the net. There we saw the uh, the new celebration cutscene as well. I should probably talk about that. I am not a huge fan of the cutscene. I think the cinematics of it look dope. Don't get me wrong. Like like how the, the spotlight's on you and you get a nice close-up of your guy. The things that I don't like are, first of all, the players in the background. They just mindlessly wander around as they always have. We need some team celebrations. We need it to look relatively realistic. Also, it's a quick cut. So after you score that goal, it like... Okay. Um... This is going to be a problem. <laughs> but the good thing is you got to see what I was talking about live in action. It's like a quick cut. So you score that goal, and then it instantly cuts away. It, it You lose control. It takes you out of it a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of the way it's implemented, how it just like quickly cuts to it. There's like that glitch animation and whatnot. I don't know, man. It's just not for me. I like seeing my guy roam around the ice a little bit. And then it could cut to the cutscene, if that makes sense. I'm just not a huge fan of it. It looks dope, but... Not for me. Okay, boys. Uh, well, we ha we now have a hockey game. I thought we were just running away with this thing, and now we are tied at two. So superstar difficulty, definitely uh, a bit of a challenge as well. We are definitely not uh, getting set up in the offensive zone as much as I would like either. All right, boys. We got to be smart here. We got to be smart. Two and a half minutes. Nothing dumb. <laughs> Dude, that goes in. Skinner, what happened to you? Oh, I mean, it's not a bad shot. He just he just wound that thing up. Fires it to the left side, and we are, we're fighting from behind. We got two minutes left. I'm going to try to go set up in the offensive zone, get that sustained pressure, and just end it. All right, no more messing around. Holy, this is bad. All right, two and a half minutes, boys. We're going hard. Here we go. Cannot have my first game on the channel be a loss. Nice hip check. Oh, my gosh, dude. What a hipper. Got to get set up and got to get set up relatively quickly here. Nice. We're in the zone. McDavid accidentally re reverse hit, but that's fine. We got the puck back somehow. Okay. I'm just going to hold on to this for a few. We got our... Uh, is it even a, it's not even a slow minute. <gasps> Bang! Let's go, Nursey! Oh, a greasy one. But we find the back of the net. Oh, I was just shooting... No matter what, I was just shooting that puck low to get the bar up, but... We end up actually finding the back of the net mid-slot. It felt like a muffin coming off the stick. But, hey, a shot's a shot. That's why you just got to shoot the puck more in this game. Left side, back of the net, and we're back in it. 3-3, let's go. I don't think I've ever been this hype playing against the computer either. But, like, I'm having a, I'm having a good time here. This is kind of a battle. All right, I'm getting stuck on my own, guys. We got 21 seconds. Let's go here. Uh, You know what? I'm just going to hold this. Oh, I'm going to hold this. Top left. <sighs> nice shot. Get that pressure bar up. No penalties. No penalties. I'll take a three-on-three, three, especially with my lineup all day. We'll get McDavid dry settle out there. But we got to get there first. We really got to get there first. Nice save, Skinner. And we are going to go to OT in our first game. Oh, baby. It is three-on-three three action. I guess we're going to be going to a shootout after, too. We got to we gotta end this thing three-on-three, three, especially with the lineup we have. So some weird goals going in. I mean, that, that's the biggest takeaway. The goals that you score in NHL 24 will not be the same as you've seen in NHL 23. Are they realistic? No. I mean, some of them are super weird goals. But you know what? You just got to shoot the puck, man. I'm getting worked here. We, we luckily got that goal to end the period. We're tied now. We're winning this thing three on three. Let's go. We got McDavid and Dreisaitl. The best three on three lineup in all of hockey. We got Ekholm too. All right, McDavid? McDavid? Where are they? That would have been the nastiest ender to a, a NHL 24 game that has ever happened. And probably because no one's ever played the game yet. <gasps> Skinner! What a save! Yep. Okay, we got McDavid. dreisaitl has gone. Ah, I tried to make that quick flip out to him. Just can't force that. Let's be smart here, fellas. I'm not letting him not letting him shoot low for rebounds. Okay, we kind of let him shoot low for a rebound, but luckily... Oh, he kind of dropped to the ice. Hold on. I'm going to have a two-on-one. Go. Okay, that works. Mishy game winner, imagine. Dang, this OT is going so fast, too. I don't. I do not want to have to take on the, uh, the goalies that I don't know how to beat in a shootout. So we're ending this right now. McDavid and Dreisaitl. Yep. <sighs> try to force that. That was definitely a force and a half. 30 seconds left. I'm going to get the last possession of the game, and we're going to try to get some sustained pressure as well. Oh, Mishy, Mishy. Mishy, no! <laughs> Off the helmet and out. What a line change. Ew. Okay, McDavid's still out here. McDavid with wheels. Let's go. Yep. 2-1. 2-0. Nursey. Bang! We win. 
in those. Darnell Nurse. Nine seconds left. And that is going to do it. Let's just take in the scenes. Darnell Nurse, of all players, gets a breakaway to end three on three. And Hill tries to go for that desperation save. We find the backhand and bing, bang, boom. Our first game of NHL 24 is an OT banger. Let's go. Dude, that was hype, man. I, I like the ending too. There was like a little, little extra atmosphere from the fans. They popped off Darnell Nurse and OT with the GWG. Let's take another look at this one. A little backhand B-way. Nursey finds it. And just like that, this one is over. Also, look at the animations on the board. That's fire, man. I'll tell you what. Look, it has 20 shots on goal in the game. And we score the goal. Boom. Goal like floats across. I love that. That is actually clean. Our first full game of NHL 24, Superstar difficulty was nasty. I thought we were losing that thing, man. We started so hot. They scored some quick goals there in the third period to tie it back up and take the lead. And then we ran away with it there in OT. In terms of how this game played, I actually like a lot of the new features. The hitting feels super satisfying. The offensive zone pressure feels nice. The goalie animations are unreal. It just feels like they need to tone some of them down a little bit. Luckily, it seems like EA actually wants to be transparent this year and that they're listening and making the changes. I'll toss a link in the description below to all the changes that they're making. It's a pretty extensive list. I will say, I think they fixed up most of the issues that I had initially with the game. Now, obviously, once the full game drop, this could be a different story. We'll have more time to learn all the exploits, how to score, how to rig the system, if you will. But for now, they're listening to feedback. They're making changes. And that's all that we can ask. I really hope EA does continue to listen to feedback and make changes because last year they just left NHL 23. It was not a good game. It didn't play well, in my opinion, and they just let it be. So we'll see what happens. I'm optimistic about NHL 24. I had a lot of fun here in my first full game on the channel, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did find this video fun or enjoyed it in some way, hit the video with the like, hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 1 million subscribers. Lots of NHL 24 content coming soon. That's it for me. I'll see you guys next time and peace.